So I was just selecting engines for the Frank and Briggs 5 there and uh, came across this one uh, It's what I call uh, unusually dirty. On the right here we have you know normal amount of uh, dirt and uh, build up on the cooling fins and the magneto etc. But uh, this one over here that's what I call excessive. Crazy amount of dirt. It takes a long time to clean an engine like this up. As you see, it's it's got damage to the uh, the crankcase cover. There, it's got a big piece broken out on this side. I think uh, I probably got more damaged crankcase covers than uh, most other parts. Sometimes the cylinder heads have uh, fins missing, and I've used a couple of those on uh, on the engines. I'll show you the three engines I've got completed here. So here's the three engine blocks that I've got uh, put together for use on the uh, Franken Briggs 5. I've got them all lined up there. So uh, they're pretty well complete up to this point. Uh, tested the spark on them all. Um, you know, the cylinders are good. Uh, lap the valves, camshafts are timed, uh, crankcase covers are bolted on. So uh, they're basically re ready to uh, bolt onto my wood base, but I still got uh, two more engines to go, so I'm working on them at this point. And I've also got the mounting uh, board cut and uh, holes for two of the five engines uh, cut out there. And uh, you can see I got my, I don't know if you can see it or not, I got the center lines for all five drawn. So. I'll be mounting two by fours under it to hold it up, space it off the ground. So it's getting there.